All right, we're going to talk about Newton's second law, which states that the acceleration of an object is equal to the net force applied to the object divided by the object's mass. If we take that definition and we make an equation out of it, it says the acceleration of an object, so A, is equal to the net force applied to the object, so force net, um, divided by the object's mass, so divided by mass. And in most physics textbooks, what you're going to see is this equation right here rearranged. If we times both sides here by mass, you get this equation down here. And so these two equations really are the same thing. They're just rearranged in different forms. I also think it's important to note that in a lot of physics textbooks, you'll see force net is written like this. It's given the uh, sigma sign here. So this sigma f means the same thing as force net. You just add up all the forces and um, it's the net force acting on that object and that's equal to ma. Maybe the most important and um, you know, famous equation in all of physics. But we're going to use this equation uh, in the next few problems um, to solve for any one of these variables, either for force net, for the mass of an object, or the acceleration of an object. And if you remember back in the previous video on Newton's first law, we learned that if there is a force net, if there is a net force on an object, the object will accelerate. And so in Newton's second law, we just kind of build on the first law and we actually determine how much it's going to accelerate. So let's try a few problems. All right, in this first problem, it says a hockey puck with a mass of 0.5 kgs is hit and accelerated at a rate of 2.5 meters per second squared. What is the force that the puck was hit with? And it says to ignore friction. All right, so whenever I see a problem with Newton's law and it says accelerated, that's kind of a key term, I always think of Newton's second law, which is force net is equal to the object's mass times its acceleration. And what I'm going to do here is just plug in the numbers. It said the object, the, the, the mass of this object was 0.5 kgs, so 0 0.5. And we're going to times that by the acceleration of the object. And it told us the puck was accelerated at 2.5 meters per second squared. So 2.5. All right. And so we know that the force net is the product of these two. So let me get my calculator. So 0 0.5 times 2.5. And I'm getting it's 1.25. And so um, the force, the net force that this puck is experiencing is equal to 1.25 Newtons. And that's when we ignore friction. With, it, with a, a hockey puck on ice, there's going to be a small amount of friction, but uh, the problem stated to ignore that friction. So force net equals um, force net is equal to 1.25 newtons. That's your answer. OK, let's try one with friction involved. Problem two states that a 2,000 kilogram truck exerts a force of 5,600 newtons to move down the road. If the force of friction is 2,300 newtons, what is the acceleration of the truck? Again, we see um, in the problem this word acceleration, we're dealing with forces, so we should think Newton's second law, which is force net, is equal to ma. F equals ma. Okay, and for this problem, I want to draw a free body diagram to illustrate all the forces that are acting on this truck. So, if I draw the free body diagram over here, this represents the truck. Its mass was 2,000 kilograms, so 2,000 kgs. We know that the truck is experiencing a downward force from gravity, the force of gravity, which is equal to the mass of the truck times the acceleration due to gravity. We know that the truck isn't moving up and down, so the forces have to be balanced in the up and down direction. So we've got the normal force up here, 
which is going to be equal but opposite the sign of force of gravity. Okay. And it says this truck exerts a force of 5,600 newtons to move it down the road. So this is, we'll call that the applied force. So force applied. And that's equal to 5,600 newtons. Okay. And it says the force of friction acting on this truck is 2,300 newtons. So friction always opposes motion. And so that's going to be pointing to the left. Um, call it the force of friction. And that's equal to 2,300 newtons. Okay. Now we've got our free body diagram complete. We could find force of gravity and normal force, but we know that the truck is not accelerating up and down. So these forces have got to be balanced. So we're just going to pay attention to these two forces for now, the applied force and the force of friction. For Newton's second law, we need the net force. And so if we uh, find the net force, we go force net is equal to all of the forces going to the right. So this force, which is 5,600, minus all the forces that are going to the left, and that's 2,300. Okay, let me grab my calculator. 5,600 subtract 2,300 is 3,300. Okay, so 3,000, whoops, uh, 3,300. Newtons. Okay, and that's what our force net will be equal to. Okay, um, but the problem really wanted us to find what is the acceleration of the truck. And we know from Newton's second law that force net is equal to ma. So this 3,300 newtons is going to be equal, since that's the force net, to the object's mass, which we know is 2,000 kgs. So 2,000 um, times the object's acceleration. We don't know the acceleration, but we can now solve for it. So to solve for acceleration, you divide each side by 2,000. And on this side, 2,000 divided by 2,000 is 1, so they can um, cancel out. So we get my calculator, 3,300 divided by 2,000 and I'm getting that acceleration of this truck is equal to 1.65 and acceleration has the units of meters per second squared okay. and so that's the answer to this problem alright last problem um, a sports car it says is accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour which is 27 meters per second in 6.3 seconds. The car exerts a net force of 4,106 newtons and it's asking what is the mass of the car? So we, we see acceleration, we've got a force, it's asking for mass, we should think Newton's second law, force net, is equal to the object's mass times its acceleration. F equals ma. Alright, and Let's just plug in what we have so far. We've got a net force that says of 4106 newtons. So 4106 newtons is your net force. We don't know the mass of the car, that's what it's asking for. And we need to find acceleration. It doesn't come out and give us the acceleration in this problem, but it does tell us that it went from 0 to 60, which is 27 meters per second in this much time, 6.3 seconds. So if you remember back from the first chapter of physics, we talked about this um, formula. So acceleration is equal to velocity final minus velocity initial all over time final minus time initial. And in this, using this formula, we can solve for acceleration. So velocity final, and it's important to note that you always have to be in meters per second even though it gives us a miles per hour we can't use that because our force is measured um, in meters um, so to keep our units the same um, we have to use meters per second so that would be 27 was his final velocity 
he started, the initial velocity was from zero, so it's 27 minus zero, divided by, time final was 6.3 seconds, 6.3, minus time initial, time initial was zero. Okay, so we got 27 divided by 6.3, my calculator says acceleration is equal to 4 point, if we round to two decimal places, 4.29. Okay, great, so now we can plug this in for our acceleration, which is 4.29. And now to solve for the, the uh, car's mass, we divide each side by 4.29. On this side, 4.29 divided by 4.29 is 1, so we can cancel those out. So the object's mass is 4,106 divided by 4.29, and I get the mass of this sports car will be 957, um, and mass is always measured in kilograms, so kgs. So there is the mass of the car. So I've gone through a few problems now um, dealing with Newton's second law. It's just using, remember to use the uh, F equals MA equation and solve for the missing variable. Hopefully that helps. If you, uh, if you do get stuck, you can go through the video again, rewatch some of the problems, or if you, uh, if you want to come in anytime, I will help you out, uh, but good luck. What I'm going to do now is just show you the uh, uh, video physics assignment problems. Remember, you can pause your video at any time. Um, title your paper, Video Physics and Newton's Second Law. There'll be three questions, so um, I'll scroll through them slowly.